Hello and welcome to the overview of Kinetic Text Animator version 1.09. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and play, show some samples here that I'll be talking about in a second. We are in version 1.09. Um, and one of the, we we're kind of moving into, I'd say, release candidate zone. Um, in other words, late beta. So really, some of the improvements are really kind of start making uh, Kinetic Text Animator a real stable and viable video creation solution. So I uh, just want to point out here in the member dashboard, this is the editor where I can edit it, but you'll see it just without all these goodies over here. And uh, notice that we uh, list the new features, so do uh, check those out in case I miss something in this overview video. I want to point out just a few things, service level. We made this a little bit more prominent, the, open, the font browser, such it's important. Uh, the Control F is still the shortcut for that. Uh, down here we have a new panic button. For those of you who uh, would have the stage loss when you're doing uh, uh, whatever stage uh, or your screen resolution changes or uh, various reasons for that ha occurred. And so now we have a, a panic button so you can get that back. Uh, we can now uh, size the stage even if it's zoomed in. So that's kind of a nice thing. And um, But other than that, I'd say that the, the real big ones uh, in this version are the video handling. We found in version 1.08 that uh, if any videos or videos with have more than one setting, if you had two or more videos with different settings, that would mess up the export. Um, also, two or more videos with audio in them, even though we didn't support audio, we now do. So another cool thing is MOV files uh, can now be imported. Um, those of you who have an iPhone like me, you can shoot video on your phone and import it. Uh, so that's really cool and you have a audio track for your video and but you know a lot of people are going to notice the image animate and the nothing fancy animations so uh, image animate is uh, brand new we can import png jpeg and svg files I do need to say that svg files are a work in progress so the svg format the doggone format has uh, tons of different variations and so we've gotten most of them to work some will not work so just be aware of that if you have an SVG file that doesn't work just go ahead and convert it to PNG using a free tool like Inkscape or Gravit Designer or you know, any other tool that you might ha have available to you to export if you have uh, uh, Illustrator or something like that that would of course work very well as well Photoshop and and so forth. So just convert it to PNG and you'll be good to go and we'll get that fixed. We're trying to not only have SVG, uh, all the different formats work, but also maintain the vector. Right now, an SVG imported is turned into a bitmap. Uh, but we, we definitely want to be able to support SVG. As you know, we have I have a large collection of SVG files in my, in my Anabits. So I uh, want to make sure that we can support those. Um, so that's coming, but you can browse. Um, you basically have to click on a, a block or have a new animation block. Let's go ahead and come over here and get a new one. And then I can browse uh, for a new file and open whatever I want. You know, a JPEG again, I, I'll go ahead and I can import that one. You can see. And I do, you notice that I, I can move it around. I can size it um, and, and so forth but I need to actually animate it or click on the animate it button for anything to actually be applied to it. So um, you just, just be aware of that. As usual, I can delete the block and so forth. One of the nice things here, if you'll notice in this example, all right here, I've got a lower third, but the text is below it, but now you can right click on a block and move it up to the front. So it's got some Z ordering uh, new capabilities as well. That's the feature that I forgot to list and need to add. Uh, to to the uh, on our on the download page. So we have uh, the no nothing fancy fonts uh, animations are the same as the image animations. So I'll just kind of go over those. We have in and out animations, seven different options here, and also some effects so you can play with those. If you turn on the leave on stage, then the duration and out animations are essentially ignored. It's just going to go ahead and just do only an in animation. Um, and so, yeah, you can go ahead and play with those and uh, have some fun. Uh, we uh, This is something that will probably be a little bit of a work in progress, uh, the image animation, because it, it whenever we add a feature like this, it opens a can of worms. So um, uh, we tried to test this pretty thoroughly. Um, in fact, I'll even share with you something uh, I, we've, uh, Carvel is fixing as I'm recording this. Uh, we figured out that I can click on, you know, I, I'm supposed to be able to click and move these around. Um, and uh, and then, of course, when I do that, I want to click on animated again for that whatever changes I've made to take effect. 
It's just like the text animations. But in this case, the image, I can move it around. But uh, right now, uh, in the version I'm currently playing with, it should be fixed by the time you get this, is I can't go back to an, an, another image and move it around. Sort of this one took over that functionality. So uh, we're getting there. Uh, we, uh, again, I think Carl will have that fixed before we get it out to you. But just be aware that um, with a new feature like this, uh, it tends to be some little snafus that we got to work out. Um, and so uh, that pretty much covers the major. Oh, I, f I almost forgot. No, it doesn't. It uh, we have variable. Uh, we have color trans uh, shadows now, and you can change the uh, transparency. Now, here's an important thing. I can go in there and click on that, but I, uh, uh, like all the other features, I need to actually click on the block and then go in and select whatever color. I can change the transparency of it. Um, and once I do that, I need to click on the animated button for it to actually take effect. So um, you just be aware, it's very easy to, um, to do some changes like moving the images around now without remem remembering to click on the animated button. So um, that's just kind of, that's kind of the way our paradigm is. And so once, you're, once you get used to that, you'll be fine. So uh, that pretty much covers uh, Kinetic Text Animator version 1.09. Um, the next version will focus on cleaning up anything that's discovered, of course, uh, probably um, getting those SVG uh, images to work better, and new animations. So we're continuing to fill these out. Um, the, we originally promised 20 animations. The image animation doesn't really count as one. We, um, we're really, you know, we're going to do 20 text animations, but nothing fancy does count as one, even though actually with all these different ones, it turns out to be quite a few different possibilities there. So uh, we hope you have fun with this, and uh, we look forward to seeing uh, the, the, your creations with Kinetic Text Animator version 1.09.